Welcome to Drive to Lightning, the positively charged EV channel. We are driving an EV in the first snow. We are in Grand Rapids, Michigan of 2023, and it's not a very serious snow. But it's also not a charming snow or a pretty snow. It's just a gray. It's a dreary, dreary type of snow. Sort of snow. So this is what our life will look like for the next, I don't know, 18 months or so <laughs> until summer comes back. We want to talk about Aptera and the drip, drip, drip of information, which is very much what they do. And this is why we think a big, big announcement is coming very shortly. You might remember this from last year, Sarah. Remember before they released the Gamma? Do you remember all the little videos and pictures and renderings that came out? Yeah, giving us a hint that things are moving forward. There was the one with the people getting in and out of the interior. There was the shot of the yoke, which stirred up some controversy. And they just did that, and then boom, we get invited to California, and then there's the Gamma in yeah. front of us. So yes. I think something, we think something big is coming. Let us know in the comments what you think is coming. We'll tell you what we think it is in a minute. But some more evidence. So this is what we've seen lately. They had the thing where they showed the uh, front wheel cover, the wheel pan mm -hmm. opening, see so what air in. Yep. And then they showed how the little opening to get air into the back wheel. They showed how to get the uh, fluid in for the windshield wipers. So all these little tiny things. And then there's some things in the rendings that have changed where you could tell that it's not the same solar package that we saw on Gamma and you could tell there's been changes to the wheel pants and it's clear that they're dripping this information very slowly uh, which is very much their style but then they did something else Sarah yes TV commercials yes uh, what's your impression of the TV commercial that we saw oh, uh, I'm excited to see TV commercials I think it's gonna get a lot of people interested in seeing what is this what 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 are we talking about here although i do have to be honest there's a little more mountain biking in it than um i feel like if i glanced up from the music if i was checking something on my phone i would assume it was about mountain biking and i since i don't mountain bike i probably wouldn't pay that much attention yeah so we saw this on cbs and we saw it on hulu yeah we're watching hulu uh ch channels on hulu yep. And same thing, we're super excited to see it, but they don't talk it almost at all about the Aptera, what it is, what it does. There's a little mention about solar energy, and it's not even clear is it a recreation vehicle or a serious vehicle from the commercial. So I don't, we're not in marketing, are we? No. Let me check my resume. Nope, nothing on here about marketing. Nope. <laughs> so I'm not in any way saying it's the wrong way to go. I, have a, I have a theory on that. Let's hear it. I'd love to hear the theory. My theory is that um, especially since it has a camping package, they do want to appeal to people who are outdoorsy, also people who are interested in the environment because they spend recreational time in the environment. It's important to them. So I do think that's who this ad is meant to grab their attention. And I think it doesn't highlight all the features of the vehicle or talk that much about Aptera so that it will make you go and look up more information about it. it it's building curiosity. Yeah, that's about the most powerful part of the commercial where it says aptera.us, learn more. Okay, so what do we think is coming? Sarah and I have a theory. Your theory, please, in the comments. You're probably right. Maybe we are right with you or wrong alone. But what we think is going to happen is just like last time, they're going to show the newest model. So in this case, they're not using the word Delta anymore. They finally realized the Greek alphabet is just not something people use anymore in every day. Well, also because they are calling them the production intent vehicles and i think that helps people who aren't familiar with everything know what the timeline is because they're like oh there's a delta how many more uh greek yeah, letters do, like do we Zeta have to get or whatever through it is at the before end there we get to a vehicle yeah. so by calling it the production intent vehicle, I think it helps move the timeline. Takes the mystery out of what's going that, on Okay, here. so this is what we plan to produce. This is the intent is to produce this. So we think right now, as we're saying this, somebody in Carlsbad, Indiana is turning a bolt on the production intent vehicle. California. What did I say? You said Indiana. Oh, I hope not. Well, it'd be great if they built it in Indiana. It's only a couple hours yeah, away. I didn't know Indiana had a car Carlsbad, California. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's cranking a bolt assembling these production intent vehicles because they're not going to 
tell us, hey, we are installing a wheel pant today. No, they're going to do the steady drip like they do uh -huh. of information, and they're going to say, boom, here it is. Right. And so I think it's being built. Maybe one or two or three or four have been built, right. by the way, and they're shooting videos. We don't know yet. And we don't know because they're, they're very, even though they're very open as a company and they allow people like us who they shouldn't allow in the building, they allow us to see what's going on. That's their mistake, not ours. The door was open, we walked in. But they are still kind of careful with big reveals. Well, as they should be. As they should be. As they yeah, should, as it's they should be. You, they're building excitement, and it should be exciting. Yeah. And yeah. it was thrilling when we did. We got invited to California for a media event. We didn't know for sure what was what it was all going to be about. When they drove in the Gamma, it was thrilling. So if they were like, yeah, this is just what it is, that wouldn't be as exciting. That would not have been worth the $2,200 flight, <laughs> for sure. Thank you, Delta Airlines. <sighs> anyway. Uh, anyway, great cookies on this plane. So tell you yeah, that. the Delta the cookies. Delta you can't cookies. beat those. Those are delicious. So let us know. You think we're way off? Do you think we're way early? Maybe they're not building them yet. I think they definitely are. I um, feel like, I mean, they made a point to let us know that some of the um, pieces are being stamped, manufactured. Well, we've seen pictures the, of them at the at place. some of them at the... And in interviews, Chris right? Anthony said, no, they're... They're not just sitting there, they're being boated over here. So and then there's some there's some talk about what actually comes from Italy. Right. You know, how much of the vehicle is built and it's a lot more than we originally thought. So right. a lot of the Aptera comes complete on a boat stacked on top of 30 other Aptera. <laughs> and then they get um, the finishing touches in Carlsbad. So I think very short order. Here's another thing, by the way, uh, Sarah from Aptera last month did an update and said we're going to be back to monthly updates. Well, November is almost over. We have not seen that update. No, well, maybe they're holding it for something. Yeah, exciting. so there might be a huge update coming. At least there should be an update coming, uh, Sarah Hardwick. Uh, looking at you. You don't on this tell one. them what to uh, There should be an update coming. How big will it be? What will it show? That'll be interesting to see. It would be nice uh, if we could actually go there if they're going to reveal something big, though. So we hope our. <laughs> Sources, you know who you are, you have my number. Uh, would let us know if something big's happening so we can jump on a plane or spend like 12 days driving there to our Nissan Leaf, charging every 50 miles. <laughs> Another option, no option. We're gonna need a bit of lead time if we do that. Getting there is getting there, right? If I gotta walk or, or whatever, hitch a ride on a butterfly. What did that was that one song say? Yeah, I, and honestly, I think some of that this train song. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I don't, I honestly think that a little bit of this is our wishful thinking that we'll have an excuse to take a California vacation in, in the, the near future. Yeah, don't <laughs> wait till the summer. Weather today. And last year they invited us. Making us, us very eager to see some West Coast sunshine. We went there in September last year. Like, you know, September is pretty darn nice where we live, actually. Yeah. Uh, one thing. Number two, it rained while we were there the whole time. Yeah. So we like, did not yeah. get the Southern California treatment. Yeah, can you find the worst possible time to invite people from Michigan to California, please? <laughs> so we want to we want to mulligan. Yeah, let's do something this winter, like <laughs> over. soon, and yeah. then we'll do that. Yeah, um, that'd be great. We have some people to thank. First of all, thank you to the members of this channel. You're the ones that keep the wheels churning and the positively charged. EV channel. Yeah, so a special thanks to the newest members that joined us. One that is Jerry and Helen M. Welcome. And uh, the Mug Club. You mugs my mugs so these mugs can get back to San Diego. And a few special thanks. We have an extra special thanks going out to EV News Today 9410 for the super thanks. And the message, keep doing what you're doing. We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> and we have Bob Newchow send us a super thanks. Bob, thank you so very much. For all the support, by yeah, the way. And Bob said thanks for all you create. Bob, thanks for all you create. We love your Aptera pros. And we have some uh, coffees. Yes. Jerry and Helen bought us coffees. Thank you, Jerry thank and Helen. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Yes. And David the Inspector also bought us some coffees. Yeah. And David has his own channel, which we subscribe to. And yeah. we think you, you should, should subscribe, subscribe to. Excellent, excellent uh, videos. Yes. And Bob Newchow, some somehow always seems to slip a coffee in just about, maybe not just about, maybe every week. 
we don't expect it. No, but by it's any awfully means. kind of But you Bob, we do job. appreciate it each and every time. Thank you. That's our take on what we think the next big news coming out of Aptera will be, and you'll know about it as soon as we know about That's it. That's if you've subscribed, by the way. That's Please the, subscribe yeah. if you haven't okay. already. All right, that's it. Okay. Bye. Bye.